as someone who talks about the economy a lot, I, I'd start with uh, Joe Biden. 720 million workers back into the workforce that are women. So I'm trying to think, how can we get there? Yes, it would be more than double the U.S. population. Um, the unemployment rate's already at 50-year lows. But I'm thinking maybe since Democrats, most of them are in favor of open borders, you bring in about 600 million women from overseas to the U.S. And solved. that's how you get to the 720 million Problem solved. American workers. <laughs> Too bad, he had tremendous potential. <laughs> he only had one real asset, you know what it was? Height. Height. Height, Heather, that was the only advantage. Height. I'll never be president. <laughs> so how do you feel about you this? you wear heels? I, I do wear heels. <laughs> Usually downtown on a Saturday night. You can find me in the park. Confirmed. Walking my imaginary dog. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Here, $200 out of pocket. It was a huge workplace distraction. I mean, yeah. they said that the balloon animals were causing so much noise in the office, they had to tell the clown to tone it down a little bit. But the fact that the workplace, your place of work still allowed you to bring in a clown with you, that's pretty cool. Probably. A poodle on the plane with a red support dog <coughs> banner around them is There's just not believable. There's a difference believable. between support and service. And we Poodles really can be very yeah, that's emotionally true. That's supportive. That's true. Huge support. But I mean, look, what if you like walked on a plane with like a support blow up doll? That'd be weird. <laughs> like, I'm serious, like if you walked in and go, I, I need okay, this. Okay, Terry, I did that once. <laughs> I knew it. You had to bring it up. We're editing it up.